dear students today we are going to discuss about state secretariat and the role of chief secretary the minister the secretary and the executive head are the three important components of a government at the state level the secretariat and the directorates are the two eyes of the political executive the secretariat plays an important role in policy framing whereas the directorate plays crucial role in its implementation literally the term secretariat means the secretary's office the expression secretariat is used to refer to the complex of departments whose political heads are ministers while the administrative head or secretaries to the government the entire administrative machinery of the state is divided into several departments it originated at a time when what we had in india was really a government run by the secretaries the term secretariat has become a synonym for the minister's office but because the secretary is the principal advisor to the minister he needs to be in the physical vicinity of the minister in effect therefore secretariat refers to the complex of buildings that houses the office of ministers and secretaries the government function with the help of task oriented ministers and secretaries no ministry can run smoothly without the support of a secretariat at the union as well as the state levels the secretariat helps the government in policy making and execution of legislative functions at the state level just like in the union government there is a secretariat to carry on the work of the minister it is under the administrative control of the chief secretary to the state government it consists of several departments of a state government the departments are headed politically by the minister and administratively by the secretaries the chief secretary is the head of the entire state secretariat a secretary may be the in charge of one or two departments the secretary is usually a senior ias officer in the organizational hierarchy of the secretariat each secretary is assisted by an additional secretary deputy secretary assistant secretaries under secretaries and section officers all these officials of the secretariat are called as generalis components of secretary the three components of the government at the state level are one the minister two the secretary and the three the executive head the minister and the secretary together constitute the secretariat whereas the office of the executive head is designated as the directorate the state secretariat as the top layer of the state administration is primarily meant to assist the state government in policy making and in discharging its legislative functions it also acts as a memory and cleaning house preparatory to certain types of decisions and as a general supervisor of executive action as per the administrative reforms commission the main functions of the state secretariat are broadly as follows one assisting the ministers in policy making in modifying policies from time to time and in discharging their legislative responsibilities two framing draft legislation and rules and regulations three coordinating policies and programs supervising and controlling their execution and reviewing of the results four budgeting and control of expenditure five maintaining contact with the government of india and other state governments and six overseeing the smooth and efficient running of the administrative machinery and initiating measures to develop greater personal and organizational competence it should be in order to at this stage to portray the broad dimensions of the secretariat's role in some detail the foremost of this secretariat's role is assisting the ministers in policy making this has many aspects first the secretary supplies to the minister all the data and information needed for policy formulation second the secretary sometimes provide the programs with content by working out their details on whose strength of ministers are voted to power third the secretariat assist ministers in their legislative work drafts of legislations to be introduced in the legislature by ministers are prepared by the secretaries 
besides to answer questions in the legislature the minister needs relevant information the secretary supplies this information to the minister secretary also collects information required with respect to the legislative committees fourth the secretariat functions as an institutionalized memory this means that the emerging problems require an examination in the light of precedents records and files maintained in the secretariat as an institutional memory and ensure continuity and consistency in the disposal of cases fifth the secretariat is a channel of communication between one government and another and between the government and such agencies as the planning commission finance commission niti aayog etc finally the secretariat evaluates and keeps track of execution of policies by the field agencies the secretariat's basic function is to assist the minister in the fulfillment of his role the secretariat performs the following functions one to formulate the policies and programs of the state government two to coordinate the state government policies and programs three to prepare the state budget and impose control on public expenditure four to frame legislation rules and regulations five to supervise the implementation of policies and programs by field agencies six to review the results of the execution of policy seven to maintain contacts with central and other state governments eight to initiate measures to develop greater organization competence o and m work nine to assist ministers in discharging their responsibilities to the state legislature like answering questions 10 to appoint head of department and to look into the consequent establishment work like salary administration 11 to service as a think tank of the state government 12 to explore the possibilities of improving the financial position of the state 13 to receive the complaints representations and appeals from the people and solve them 14 to approve service rules and their amendments office A unique feature of the secretariat system in India has been the distinction between is the two component parts the transitory cadre of a few superior officers and the permanent office the officers in each department because they hold tenure posts come and go it is the office which is manned by permanent functionaries which provides the much needed element of continuity to the secretariat department unlike officers the office constitutes the permanent element in the secretariat system the office component is comprised of superintendents or section officers assistants upper and lower division clerks steno typists and typists etc office performs the spade work on the basis of which the officers consider cases and make decisions office supplies officers with materials which constitute the basis for decision making the structure of a typical department comprises department headed by a secretary wing headed by additional oblique joint secretary division headed by deputy secretary oblique director branch headed by an under secretary section by section officer the section is the lowest organizational unit and it is under the charge of a section officer other functionaries in a section are assistants upper and lower division clerks stenotypes typists etc following is a typical example of the pattern of a departmentalization at the secretariat level at the state of telangana list of departments for example agriculture and cooperation animal husbandry and fisheries backward classes welfare consumer affairs food and civil supplies endowments energy environment forest science and technology finance general administration political health medical and family welfare higher education home housing industries and commerce information and public relations information technology electronics and communications irrigation and cad labor employment training and factories law minorities welfare municipal administration and urban development panchayat raj and rural development planning public enterprises revenue revenue registration and stamps 
revenue, prohibition and excise, revenue, commercial taxes, school education, social welfare, transport, roads and buildings, women development, child welfare and disabled welfare, youth, advancement, tourism and culture, etc. Now let us know about the Chief Secretary. Chief Secretary is the Executive Head of the State Secretariat. He is Administrative Head of the State Administration and stands at the apex of the State Administrative Hierarchy. His position vis-a-vis -vis other secretaries are more than primus inter spares, that is first among equals. In fact, his role is Chief of the Secretaries and his control extended to all the Secretariat Departments. He guides and controls the entire state administration and holds a pivotal, preeminent, and coveted position and assumes different roles in the administrative system of the state. As observed by Mangat Rai, the chief secretary's job is not technicians or not even a professionals. He is neither a knowledgeable engineer nor even a first class magistrate. He is part of the process of government and in a democratic republic part of the human process. Since 1973, a chief secretary is the senior most civil servant in all the states. This office was standardized in 1973 on the recommendations of the Administrative Reforms Commission of India and this post was requited with that of the Secretary to Government of India, both in status and emoluments. Original appointment. The office of a chief secretary has its origin in the central government during the British rule. It was created in 1799 by Lord Wellesley, the then Governor General of India. G. H. Barlow was the first occupant of his office. However, in course of time, this office was disappeared from the central government and was adopted by the state government much before the attainment of independence. The Chief Secretary is chosen by the Chief Minister from the senior IAS officers of the state cadre. Generally, the Chief Minister considers three factors in this regard. Seniority of the officer, service record, performance and merit of the officer, and his trust and confidence in the officer. Further, the office of chief secretary has been excluded from the operation of the tenure system. In other words, there is no fixed tenure for the post. The Administrative Reform Commission of India recommended that the tenure of the chief secretary should be three to four years. However, the old system still continues as the recommendation was not accepted. Powers and functions. The powers and functions of the chief secretary are mentioned in the rules of business framed by the state government. He also derives some of his powers and functions from conventions. These are explained below. He as an advisor to the chief minister. The Chief Secretary acts as the principal advisor to the Chief Minister on all matters of the state administration. The Chief Minister consults the Chief Secretary on all policy issues related to the governance of the state. He explains to the Chief Minister about the administrative implications of the proposals forwarded by the state ministers. He also acts as a link between the Chief Minister and other secretaries of the state government. As a Secretary to the Cabinet, The Chief Secretary acts as a Secretary to the State Cabinet. He is the Administrative Head of the Cabinet Secretariat and attends the meeting of the Cabinet and its subcommittee. If necessary, he will attend. He prepares the agenda for Cabinet meeting and keeps records of its proceedings. He takes steps for the implementation of the decisions taken in such meetings. As the Head of the Civil Service, the Chief Secretary acts as the Head of the State Civil Service. He deals with the cases related to appointment, transfers and promotion of senior state civil servants. He plays an important role in maintaining the moral of the state civil service. He is the conscience keeper of all state civil servants. As the chief coordinator, the chief secretary is the chief coordinator of the state administration. At the secretarial level, he works towards ensuring interdepartmental coordination. He advises the secretaries on interdepartment difficulties. He is the chairman of coordination committees set up for resolving interdepartmental disputes. He presides over the meetings of the department's secretaries. Below the secretariat levels, 
He presides over the conferences attended by divisional commissioners, district collectors and the heads of the departments of district administration for effective coordination. As the head of certain departments, the chief secretary also acts as the administrative head of some secretariat departments. However, there is no uniformity throughout the country in this regard and his position varies from state to state. In most cases, the general administration department, personnel department, planning department and administrative reforms department are directly under the charge of the chief secretary. The general administration department is the most important department in the state secretariat and its political head is the chief minister himself. It is concerned with the various matters affecting the entire business of the state government. The Administrative Reforms Commission of India recommended that the personal department in all the states should be directly headed by the chief secretary. As a crisis administrator, in times of a crisis like flood, drought and the communal disturbances and other, the chief secretary plays a very significant role. He provides guidance and leads the officers and agencies engaged in relief operations. He is generally a chairman of an important member of committees set up to take up high level policy decisions during a crisis situation. In fact, he acts as the crisis administrator in chief and virtually represents the state government for all the officers concerned with relief operations. Other functions and roles. The chief secretary also performs the following functions and roles. A. He acts as the residual legatee, that is, he looks after all those matters which do not fall within the purview of other secretaries. B. He acts as the secretary by rotation of the journal council of which the state concerned is a member. C. He exercises general supervision and control over the entire state secretariat. D. He has an administrative control over the secretariat building, the staff attached to the ministers, the central record branch, the secretariat library, the conservancy and watch the ward staff of the secretariat departments. He is the principal channel of communication between his government and the central government and other state governments. He plays in a significant role in the administration of law and order and planning, attends the annually held chief secretary's conferences presided over by the secretary of the union government acts as a spokesman of the state government. He acts as a chief advisor to the governor when president's rule is imposed in the state and if the central advisors are not appointed. He attends the meetings of the National Development Council. He acts as a chief public relations officer of the state government. Every state has secretariat of its own. It is the now center of the state administration. It consists of several departments of state government. The departments are headed politically by the ministers and administratively by the secretaries. The number of secretariat departments varies from the state to state. The general administration department is one of the secretariat departments. The general administration department is the most important department in the state secretariat and its political head is the chief minister himself. In most of the states in India, the chief secretary will be the secretary of the general administration department. Organization The general administration department consists of officers who are appointed for a fixed tenure. The hierarchy of the general administration department officers is chief secretary, oblique secretary, special secretary, oblique additional secretary, joint secretary, deputy secretary, under secretary, Assistant Secretary. The office component at the Secretariat Department in general and in General Administration Department in particular consists following the personnel. Functions. In most of the states in India, the Chief Secretary functions as the Secretary of the General Administration Department and deals the following duties. Deal with the grievances of the state government employees coming under the purview of Administrative Tribunals Act whenever their fundamental rights under the Constitution of India concerning their service conditions are affected. Deal with the disputes regarding recruitment and matters concerning recruitment to any civil service of the state or to any civil post under the state, local authority or corporation. 
create development awareness and communication among all sections of the people, particularly the weaker sections and women by operating the department's tools of mass media communication combined with intensive publicity and public relations. Promote honest and transparent conduct on part of government and public servants through effective enforcements of anti-corruption laws in order to make legitimate service available to the citizen. Provide reception and hospitality to state guests in a cost-effective manner in such a way that it enhances the reputation and image of the state. Responsible for taking care of general administrative matters of a different state government departments and provides miscellaneous to the departments and officers. Look after the necessary arrangements of the visiting of the dignitaries. Decide matters of awarding honors and distinctions. Deal with all matters relating to the property of compensation to ex-rulers and freedom fighters. Deal with the matters relating to interstate disputes. All matters of housing, accommodation and government buildings and circuit house coordinates the activities of the entire state government machinery. The above given description of the functions and responsibilities of the Chief Secretary gives an account of the crucial role he plays in the state administration. He has enormous formal and ahead of the general administration department. The Chief Secretary not only discharges the regular functions of general administration department, but also coordinates the activities of various directorates and institutions of general administration department. Finally, it can be said that the successful functioning of the general administration department depends upon the efficiency and dynamism of the chief secretary. Every state has a secretariat of its own. It is the now center of the state administration. It consists of several departments of state government. The departments are headed politically by the ministers and administratively by the secretaries. The secretariat consists of generalists and it is of a policy framing body. It is also called as staff agency. The office of the executive head is called as a directorate which looks after the implementation of policy at the field level. The personnel working in directorate are generalists and it is a line agency. The quality of political leadership as well as the administrative efficiency depends upon the cordial relations between these two organizations delegations, more powers to make the executive heads feeling of the participation in administration may solve the contradictions and confrontations between the secretary and directorate.